Hello everyone, I'm Nick Yakabuchi, and our next review is the film Killers, and it opened on Friday, June 4th, 2010. This romantic comedy, oh, oh wait a second, this, this action movie, oh, hold on a minute, this, um, this buddy buddy adventure, no wait a minute, I think I got it this time. This absolute dreadful piece of nonsense stars Ashton Kutcher, Catherine Eagle, Tom Selleck, and Catherine O'Hara. This monstrosity comes to us from director Robert Luketic, director of Monster-in-Law, The Ugly Truth, and Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. I wonder if this guy ever considered a career change, maybe just for the audience, I don't know. Our story begins with newly single Jen and her parents on vacation. Jen has broken up with her boyfriend just in time to meet the man of her dreams, Spencer Ames, played by Ashton Kutcher. Now he is your typical James Bond, Jason Bourne, and Matt Helm all wrapped into one. He is a world-traveling, top-secret government spy that routinely carries out assassinations and always seems to get the girl. They coincidentally bump into each other on the elevator, and soon Jen is making excuses to her parents in order to meet Spencer out and around the French Riviera. Spencer is also very smitten with Jen, and he decides almost immediately to turn his back on the life of being a secret agent. He believes that he has found his soulmate and accepts domestic harmony and burying his secret life that now he must keep very, very secret. We then flash ahead three years later where the happy couple still seems to be very happy and are now contemplating having children. Jen is also trying to keep her very intrusive and domineering parents happy, all the while attempting to put together a surprise party for her loving husband's 30th birthday. Then the day after Spencer's party, they learn that his adventurous past has come back to haunt him. There has been a bounty put on Spencer's head somewhere in the millions of dollars, and this brings many, many colorful characters ready to claim that bounty. The catch is that these bounty hunters or assassins have already been making their way into the lives of Jen and Spencer for years, and not only can the villains of this feature be friends or trusted neighbors, they usually are. Okay, people, this movie Killers is such a disaster or out-and-out -out mess that I don't even know where to begin. The entire premise of this film is so ludicrous and ridiculous that the only persons that could possibly be taken in by its wit and intelligence would have to wait for the show Blue's Clues to be over. Throughout this film, just normal individuals, people that you know and work with, all of a sudden show up at your doorstep, touting automatic weapons, grenades, and just about every one of them are karate experts. Plus, with all of the action sequences, the bombs, and the body count left by the many would-be assassins, I don't ever think that I saw one police officer show up to do anything in this movie. This film is not funny, and this film is not believable. It is filled with very flat jokes, and this thing goes in so many different directions that I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they didn't even have a finished script when they started filming this thing. You know, as a member of the paying audience, how are we supposed to enjoy a movie when the people that are responsible for making it don't have any clue what kind of movie they're making in the first place? You know, this probably read well as a script, but it just did not translate well to the screen at all. Movies have been around for over 100 years, and going all the way back to the days of the Keystone Cops, filmmakers have used the killer hiding in the baby carriage idea. That's where the, guy, the bad guy pops out of the stroller with a Tommy gun. Now the fact that the filmmakers took that basic plot line and thought that they could make an entire feature out of this 10 second joke is pure lunacy. I mean, just how many times can you use the hide in plain sight joke and think that it's still funny? You throw in on top of that a surprise ending with no plausibility whatsoever. We are led to comprehend that an intricate and elaborate plan was conceived and executed perfectly when we know that the truth is absolutely just bad writing. This movie also had no chance at all to be clever because it's just too dumb to begin with. And revelations are made at the end of Killers that just added to the never-ending list of why was this movie ever even made? Katherine Heagle is a lovely woman in talent. Ashton Kutcher is a credible actor when he wants to be, and director Robert Luketic can make a decent film, as he did with both the movie 21 and Legally Blonde. However, in my opinion, all three of them should be nothing but ashamed of themselves because they took $80 million of somebody else's money and produced nothing but a giant waste of time and an even bigger waste of film. At one hour and 40 minutes of sheer torture, Killers will definitely be remembered by me at the end of the year when tallying up the list of the year's worst films. Only one half of one star out of four. And remember, people, I'm not always right, only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention.